If you've watched any of my other videos on this avalanche, you've heard me say that it's getting pretty rusty. We've just been using it for a winter beater the last few years and, well, the salt hasn't been kind to it. Uh, the fenders are the worst, the doors aren't so bad. Rear quarter, yeah, it's, uh, well, there's not much behind the quarter there, is there? Well, what we've done is we bought some fender flares. Tailgate's not horrible, a little bit of rust. But just basically around the wheel openings. But like I say, we bought some fender flares, and the fender flares are going to cover a good portion of this rust. Again, the bottom of the door has got a little bit of rust on them, but not quite so bad. But it's just around the wheel openings. The problem we're going to have is uh, getting something solid to attach these fender flares to. So I think what we're going to do is just patch up some of this rust with uh, just some fiberglass. Grind her down a little, throw some fiberglass on there and you know, cover it with some cheap paint. Put the fender flares on and see if it'll look decent enough to drive it for another year. Another winter anyways. We are at 392,000 I think on the odometer. Original motor, original trans, so you know, never know how long it's going to last. We don't put on, want to put a ton of money into it, but you know, we don't want it to look too damn embarrassing to drive it this winter either. So, uh, I'm not going to show all the processes of the fiberglassing and all that. It's kind of boring, but I uh, just wanted to give you a little before and after anyways. We've got one side done. Patch the rust holes with a little bit of fiberglass just to make it look a little better. Threw some uh, box liner paint on there just to cover it up. I expected the box liner paint to be a little more textured for the fiberglass wasn't so obvious, but yeah. It isn't, but from yeah, 15, 20 feet, it looks okay. Better than a big rust hole anyways. We did the easy side first, actually. Uh, we're going to do a little extra fiberglass work on this side just to give us something, uh, something to bolt the fender flare to. Pretty soft. Well, the big gaping hole behind this wheel well is uh, all fiberglassed in. Uh, doesn't look too pretty. Uh, hopefully sand it down a little and put a little black paint on it'll make it look better. We're getting there, almost done. Well, I think we're done. Got the rear fender flare on. Got that big gaping hole, covered in fiberglass and some paint. Not the prettiest body work I've ever seen, that's for sure. But I'm no professional. But I think it's gonna be just a little less embarrassing this winter to, to drive this now that most of the rust holes are covered. Well, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing to my channel. I, th I was uh, just able to monetize there a couple weeks ago and what I was thinking is maybe I'll take that money from uh, the ad revenue that I'm going to make, which is not much, but uh, maybe put it back into this truck and just to see how far I can make it go. Just kind of curious on how long it will last. Anyways, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thanks for watching.